Green tech or green technology is an umbrella term that describes use of technology and science to reduce human impacts on the natural environment. Green technology surrounds a wide area of scientific research including energy, atmospheric science, agriculture, material science and hydrology. So, this was a short intro about green technology and green tech. So, Welcome to a channel where you are watching about which is the best green tech that is the wind turbines or the plastic roads. So before embarking let us ask a question. Why wind turbines are not as green as we think? The wind is great for producing electricity without generating greenhouse gas emissions. But there is a bad secret and that is what happens to turbines at the end of the life. This week, a study done by the University of South Australia Future Industries Institute revealed that there is a huge waste legacy of discarded wind turbines. And the problem is only getting worse. Since as more countries are transitioning from gas to wind energy, the problem will only intensify. For instance, the Germany is aiming to build between 1000 to 1500 new wind turbines annually. The life cycle of a wind turbine is around 20 to 25 years and it is estimated that by 2023 around 14000 wind turbine blades will need to be unassembled in Europe. The problem is why is it so hard to recycle or repurpose the wind turbines? According to the study the cost of recycling and the low market value of the recovered markets means that it's unrealistic to expect a market-based recycling solution to emerge in. So policymakers need to step in now and plan what we are going to do with all these blades that will come offline in next few years. About 85% of wind turbine is already recyclable. The problem is the material in the blades. They are made from glass fiber or the epoxy matrix composites to withstand all types of weather. Both materials are hard to break down. Traditionally, the industry has dealt with the leftover wind turbines by depositing them in landfill or burnt in the cement factories. Burning in the fiberglass isn't great for the environment either. Now for the plastic roads, do you remember the floating waste continent in the Pacific? Well, imagine if we could grab all that plastic to maintain our road infrastructure. Well, this possibility actually exists and that is called plastic roads. In terms of plastic roads technology, we have two options. Either they can be made entirely of plastic or mixed together with asphalt. The former is most common. The 100% plastic variety consists of prefabricated hollow modular elements made from consumer waste plastics. There is no asphalt in the mix. This product duly is called plastic road is still in the demonstration phase. But as the sector looks to clean up its act Enterprising businesses are finding ways to create a circular zero-waste solution that bypasses landmass and reduces the industry's carbon footprint. Since 2020, efforts are made to make relevant energy wind turbine blades into raw material for use in cement manufacturing, replacing the coal, sand and clay needed to manufacture cement. This has resulted in a 27% reduction in CO2 emissions. In the US, global financial solutions turns blades into manufacturing grade fibers, pellets, construction materials, panels and more. Now what about laminates? In Poland, recycling firm Anmet dismantles wind turbines. It develops technology to recover carbon fiber from the blades for use in producing laminates 
and other raw materials. The new reuse of the wind turbines from blade to furniture is remarkable. Some of the dismantled blades are repurposed and cut for use by the German company Wings for Living which used them to create original outdoor furniture and artwork. Wind energy hasn't had the smoothest ride with the public. One example is the noise they produce when placed in the residential areas. They also harm birds. Wind farms in Germany on average dispense of more than 1 lakh avians a year. Current efforts to bring life to discarded wind turbines exist, but they don't really represent a definitive commitment to circular design and critical end of life planning. Studies say the small market for reclaimed materials means that the cost of manufacturing needs to be factored in the price of recycling of the blades. So, either the manufacturer takes the responsibility for what needs to be done with the blades at the end of the useful life or the wind farm operators must provide end of life solutions as part of planning approval process for the business operations. The industry must take the respons- responsibility for this one. They have had long enough to develop a solution and as countries look to move away from gas We are really going to need them to set up and be responsible for the worst the the industry yet to come. In the case of plastic roads, the developer has just demonstrated the product in two 30 meter stretches of cycle track in the Denmark towns. Monitoring is ongoing right now to understand its long term impact on the local environment. If it is successful, Plastic roads can also significantly reduce the carbon footprint from 50 to 72 percent of the traditional road construction. So, plastic roads are thanks to longer lifespan and reduction of transport movements involved 